Hello everyone, this is King Kong LT. Begin this video, I will tell you how to install the Node-RED on the cloud server so that you can have your own cloud server. Because the Node-RED is easy to, to do some functions uh, for the cloud server. It not need you have the program skill. It just uh, use the node and the line uh, to do some functions. Therefore, we have many videos about the Node-RED but that is running on the local machine, maybe running on your local computer or on your Raspberry Pi. Now, we have another way that can be installed on the card. You can have the card server version. There are many card servers can be used, like the IBM, uh, Amazon, and the Microsoft. And even not use this card server, you, have, you can rent a server in your country or in your city. Oh, yeah, no problem. But at this video, I will tell you how to use Amazon Web Service. Just we can see the AWS, that is, means Amazon Web Service. So we will make the video step by step how to do this. You can click this button. And uh, running the Node-RED on Amazon Web Service, uh, you can choose this three way. But because this card server only is private for you to use, so it's not difficult. We can choose the uh, way 3 uh, This use Ubuntu image on the Amazon EC2. The EC2 means the card server name of the Amazon. The Ubuntu image is an operation system name. Like uh, the Linux system have many versions, the Ubuntu and the Red Hat and the CentOS. The Ubuntu, it has the uh, graphic interface, like the Windows, uh, it have graphic interface. Uh, MS-DOS, just uh, input the command, no graphic interface. So we will use this, this way to install the EC2. You can see uh, this way, uh, we'll have two steps. Uh, one is create the EC2 image, and the second is set up the Node-RED. So in this video, I will tell you how to create the EC2 image. And the first step, we will uh, take uh, the next video on the Node-RED setup. So we can log into the EC2 console. We just uh, do these steps. If you click this button, we can copy this link, uh, open in Win window. Uh, you can see there are some options for you. This is a root user and uh, IAM user. These two options, is you already have the Amazon account. This is for administering account. This is for common user account. In this video, I will tell you how to register a new account step by step and have your own private Amazon web service. Okay, this step, we can input this information. The Amazon account, uh, you can have 12 months of the free access. Uh, there are some items in later I will tell you which is free. We can just uh, input the email and the password. And the account name. Okay, we can Press the continue. Security check. We can input these words. Continue. OK. This you can choose your account type. This is professional and this is personal. Uh, we can easily uh, use the personal. And your full name. That's it. That need your name and the phone number. And your country. And this is address. This address must be English. Uh, we can copy our contact address Co 
Hop here in the past. Uh, it's too long. We can copy this seat on this. Okay, set A. Check this option and create account and continue. Okay, in this step, you need to input your credit card information. This is Bionges. You need to use a credit card. Okay. Add cell phone number. Wrong. I input again and send SMS. Okay, now your mobile phone will receive a code which code. Okay, this is successfully. We press continue. Uh, select a support plan. We can choose free. Uh, this need money. We just choose this free. Okay, now we can sign into the console. Now I have received the message. The SMS should my mobile phone send showed me I have paid the one US dollars to the Amazon. Sign in the console. Now we can choose the root user. Uh, this is Amazon uh, AWS email I have received. Input the email and the next and the password. Sign in. This is login. Okay, this is AWS console. The first step, you need to choose this, this range. You can choose which is close to your operation. So the uh, server will place in your country or in your city. That will be more stable and the speed will be fast. You can choose someone like this, is the US East, and this is Asia and Canada and Europe. Just choose close to your close to your operation. If I choose this, Europe. Then you change to London. We can launch we can launch a virtual machine. We can click this.
this is dashboard for EC2. And uh, there are many uh, different options. This is a machine, machine image, AMI. That means what operation system will be installed in your EC2 cloud server. So there are Linux, Amazon Linux, Red Hat, and uh, Microsoft Windows, or other operation systems. Because we have seen the node that we were running EC2 with Ubuntu, uh, Ubuntu operating system. This is a Linux system. So we can see this is Ubuntu server. And this is free. Uh, make sure this is free. And we can select. OK, this is many items. That is the config of the hardware. Uh, this is green. Uh, this only one is free. So we can choose this one, uh, T2 micro. This is enough for us to use because this private server is only for you. So it's enough to use one CPU and one gigahertz. And choose this one and we can press next. OK, this is many options. This number of instance, just one. And the network, we just set default. And this is the subnet. You can just according to your range you have choose. This is EU West 2. Uh, so you can choose. EU West 2, A, B, C. Uh, I think you can choose any one. This is use subnet setting enable. Yes, this is not needed to change. And the others just default. Shut down, stop. I think just uh, as default is OK. Then we can next add the storage. Uh, this is disk uh, we will use. This uh, default is 8 gigahertz. 8 gig. Uh, and this is SSD for the type. And this is default and not encrypt encryption. OK. We can next. Uh, this is uh, add text. Uh, we can add text like this. key is name and the value you can see my EC2 adjust according to you it's up to you you can set uh, set the name uh, that will be easily to find in the UI okay we can press next this is secret group because our new EC2 is no secret group so we can create a secret group uh, this is important. This is SSH. The SSH is a client software. When you launch the EC2 cloud server, you will use SSH to remote connect with the EC2 cloud server. So the SSH uses the TCP port, and the port is 22. And this is customer, means which IP can visit and connect to your EC2 cloud server. If you uh, choose Zero, 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 slack, zero. That means any IP can connect to your EC2 card server. And this is description. Uh, you can input uh, such as for SSH. Uh, this this row is for SSH. If you have any, such as you will use MySQL or other secure server or other uh, database system, you can add the row uh, on the other point. So we can. Review and launch. Press. Uh, this is a big uh, important we attention to you because you have choose zero 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 slash zero. So it, it is open to the world. Uh, just uh, attention. So you can check uh, the type and the SSH point, uh, the secret group, uh, 
the instance type, if there's no problem, you can press the launch. The EC2 cloud server will be prepared. Press launch. This is the last step. Uh, this will uh, create a key pair because the new EC2 we need to create a new key pair. This key pair means you when you we can create a name EC2 or you your uh, name just uh, it's up to you. We can download the key pair. This is a private key. Uh, the Amazon is installed a public key, public key. So this key will be used in your SSH software. So that only have this file. I copy to I copy to I copy to this position. This is download from the Amazon website. Only have this file, the person can connect to your cloud server. If have no these files, he can't connect to your cloud server. So make it important uh, save these files. Okay, when I save these files, we can press the launch in instance. Okay, your instance are launching. We can view instance in this dashboard. This is our EC2. We, the name is we have edit is pending. Now it's preparing. Oh, okay. When the, the icon is green, is display running. So the EC2. It began running, so the free twelve months is began to the this time uh, will have twelve months for free. And this, when you press, you can see your EC two cloud server. Uh, this is the public IP address, and this is the private. Uh, this is in the public network. Uh, this IP address. So you can see your system, uh, Linux, and the launch time, and the many information in this dashboard. Uh, the security, you can change the group or editing the group, and the networking, and the networking about the IP, a uh, public IP, and the storage, uh, the disk, SSD disk, uh, how many size, uh, and the monitoring. Because I have uh, start right now, so there are no date. Uh, when running sometimes, it will have monitoring date like this. Uh, you can see your cloud server CPU and uh, other many, many, many items, information, disk, memory, network, and many states. You can in this monitor to see your cloud server. And the tax, the tax you have created. You can edit and change and modify. Okay, this is the EC2 cloud server. We have quit and now also can run it. You can see this is instance running one. And you can see the details. So I think in at this time you can create the cloud server by yourself. And in next step, next video, I will tell you how to install the node red on the cloud server. Thanks for watching.